Some are calling the guilty verdict handed down against the entertainer a victory for sex abuse victims, including those who are still waiting for justice in unrelated cases. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves spoke to some survivors earlier today at a Sexual Abuse Awareness Month event in Center City, and Alicia joins us now with that part of our coverage. Alicia. Well, Yuki and Jess, survivors of sexual assault who we spoke to today say the guilty verdict against Bill Cosby gives them hope and faith that the stigma against sexual assault victims is lessening and that powerful men may no longer be able to get away with this heinous crime. Survivors of sexual assault and those supporting survivors gathered today at this Women Organized Against Rape event inside City Hall. This was a scheduled event to take place during Sexual Assault Awareness Month, but it also now happens to come just a day after the conclusion of the Bill Cosby sexual assault trial. I won't miss the irony that the second trial um, of Bill Cosby took place in the month of April, and April again is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And so as we finish out the, the month, the verdict comes in. Guilty on three counts of sexual assault, that was the verdict. It was a major victory for Bill Cosby's victims, but sexual assault survivors here say it's also a victory for them. The verdict of, in of itself is a stepping stone. The man who allegedly assaulted Krista Hayburn was never charged, so Cosby's conviction gives her and survivors like her hope. I see it as an opportunity an opportunity for the justice system to take this more serious. Caroline Wilson was molested as a child and it took 30 years before her molester was imprisoned. It didn't happen until he assaulted another child. It was a time when I told when I was 17, but it just went away. But with Cosby's conviction, she has faith society will continue to evolve the way it looks at sexual assault victims. It meant that now people will have a different lens when they're looking at these cases. You know, I asked the survivors that we spoke to today if the sentencing part of this trial will mean as much to them. And they told me that the guilty verdict is really the most important part. It is the first time that a survivor is able to take the guilt off themselves and place it on their accuser and attacker. Live in Center City, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you.